Ms. Pamandla, good morning to you. So when did the party, uh, the provincial leaders there, receive this letter of withdrawal? We understand that they received it yesterday afternoon, but the confirmation has just come out now. Ricardo Mchembu, the spokesperson of the ANC, telling me a few minutes ago that, yes, he can confirm that the party did receive a letter from Zandile Kumete withdrawing her resignation. Our viewers will recall that she resigned even though she missed the 12 o'clock deadline that was set by the party on Monday or Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. She resigned after 6 p.m., but now she has just written another letter withdrawing that resignation, saying she's no longer resigning. We understand from our sources that she's appealing the ANC's PEC decision to redeploy her. That's why she withdrew her resignation pending the finalization of the matter by the national officials of the ANC. Pamandla, we've been following this story with keen interest. Uh, surely it was not unexpected. Give us the reasons around that. But also, is it just Kumede who's withdrawing her resignation in as far as Eteguini is concerned? According to what we know, yes, it's only Zandile Kumete who is withdrawing her resignation. The other three, that is the former deputy mayor, Fauza Pia, the former speaker, William Mapena, as well as the former chief whip, that is Melinia Liso, have not withdrawn their resignation. So it's only Zandile Kumete. But it was not unexpected. I mean, many people were surprised when she resigned because if there were talks that she was defying the party, she was not going to resign. That's why she missed that 12 o'clock deadline to resign. But now she has made this U-turn, and then it's not surprising because she released a statement when she was redeployed by the ANC saying she would like to clear her name. She wants to know the reasons why she has been redeployed because, according to her, she has performed very well, quote-unquote. So not surprising that she has now made this about 10 and then she's taking the matter to the party's officials in Lutuli House because she feels that they need to intervene and effectively save her. As Pamandla, it's uh, this move by Gumede. It clearly puts the Sihlezigalala-led provincial leadership uh, in KZN in a bit of a, a pickle here because they themselves, as we understand it, are being called to Lutuli House to account on this matter. Indeed. I mean, it has always made matters worse for the ANC in Guazul Natal. There are reports that the, the provincial officials of the ANC are deeply divided on this matter. Our viewers would recall that there was that 13-hour marathon meeting of the PEC, which finally took a decision to redeploy her. We understand that there was deep division there. Some people did not support the decision to redeploy her. And this tells you that it will continue to divide the ANC in Guazul Natal, simply because Zandile Kumete is still a powerful force in the province and in the Eteguine region. However, the party has taken a decision. Our sources are telling us that she knows that eventually she will lose her appeal because many people before her have been redeployed by the party. They were never given reasons and they had to accept the party's decision. So our sources are telling us that she's buying time trying to frustrate the provincial leadership of the ANC in Wazul Natal. Eventually she will have to go. Very interesting story indeed. And uh, what happens uh, to the leadership vacuum there in Etewini? That remains to be answered.